Okay, so now we're coming to the good stuff. This is when I get to shoot things. Yep. Um, and I'm going to move my hammer fist yep. and hopefully try and shoot your... And is that your Gur Panther? That's the Gur Panther. Okay, yes. right. So I've got a move of five. So what speed... So I'm at speed... Your battle speed. Battle so, speed. So it's two move steps. So I'll move five. So move that. So straight along there, basically like that, to here. Yep. And then I've got another one. I can you can turn before turn. you shoot. So I'm red. Yep. So I'm going to turn all the way. Because hopefully I'm going to try and shoot you with my forward cannon. And then hopefully get a broadside as well. Yep. So will I be able to shoot from there with my... Forward facing cannon? Yes, so but forward uh, so st uh, forward and backwards, that is your fire arc like that. So we can okay. get a template so you can work that out. So anything then in that cone yeah. is, is, is a valid target. And similarly at the back if you've got any rear firing, uh, rear firing weapons. Uh, to your sides, it's the width of your base. So your, uh, your starboard and port uh, broadsides are the width of your base all the way out. So it's that corridor. Okay. So anything that's in there is a, is a target. So obviously the bigger the boat, the more you can shoot, I guess, for those. Is that right? On your broadside, you have yeah. a much wider corridor to okay. trap stuff in. Yes. Um, okay, so now we've established that I can definitely shoot you. Yep. Uh, what do I need to do next? Um, so you have a look at your ship card and look yep. at how many what guns you've got at the front. So I've got one L. It so says that's one front. light light weapon. Okay. Uh, so light weapons roll a red dice. We have different coloured dice for the different weapon types because obviously you might have a, a broadside that fires all three types or okay. something. Um, so you roll different coloured uh, dice. So normally you'd need, you need a six plus any modifiers. Now I don't think there are going to be any here. So you're not a you're not a uh, close enough range, you're not a point blank range. So what's um, point blank range? Point blank, if you're uh, within three inches, then you're right up close. Okay. Um, and it's double damage uh, right. and everything else. Okay. And it's um, easier to hit. So there's no other modifiers at the moment, so you're going to need a, a six to hit me. Okay, so hopefully I'll do this. So let's One. pretend that was a six. <laughs> there you go. Wow, I got a six. Fantastic. So light guns don't do, do a huge amount of damage, it's one damage, so I just take the, the one on here. Now you, there's a, a space on the card um, to uh, stack up your damage counter so you can keep them off the table. Yeah. Um, and uh, notice each ship card you have a, a, your, um, your structure points. Yeah. Uh, so like the Gaia Panther's 28. Um, and there's also a nerve value as well. So uh, the, um, if you ever exceed the uh, structure points, you're destroyed. Yeah. Um, once you've got enough damage that's ex uh, met or exceeded your nerve value, then you're crippled. Okay. And there's a chance each each time you activate that you might surrender. Right. Um, and it affects uh, your, your shooting and things as well. Okay, so I've shot with my one cannon. Now yep. I've got another move. Yep. So I can move forward again. And that's another yep. five, is it? Yep. And you can turn so, or not. Uh, I don't think I'll... No, I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep on going. So I'll end there. Yep. Now this look this looks good for me. I'm quite excited about this. Yes, that is uh, a point blank because you're within three inches of uh, yep. broadside. Fantastic. Okay. So I've got two uh, L and two C. Right. Uh, C are your basically your close quarter guns. Right. They're the other than ind indirect, which are random. They're the most devastating. They've got a very short range. Yeah. Uh, of eight inches. Um, but um, they do three damage instead of uh, one like your light guns. Okay. And at this range, it will be double. Right. Uh, okay, so which colour dice do I need for that one? Uh, you need, uh, you've got two light guns. Yep. So there'll be those two. And you've got two uh, close, com uh, close, um, close quarter guns. So that'll be the two uh, black ones. Okay. Um, so uh, in terms of modifiers, you've got the uh, point blank. So you're going to get plus two to hit, um, and otherwise that's it. So you're okay. so what you were sixes before, you're now fours. Fantastic. So I roll them all at once. Yep. And like I say, so there's different colours, so we can easily tell what's hit. Uh, that's not. Let's let's pretend again. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Power of playtest. There we go. Yep. So I've got uh, all a of nine. Them so all of them hit this time from nothing yep. hitting. Okay. So what happens now? So you've got that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Because you're at uh, point blank range, that's doubled to 16. Wow. That's 16 damage. Yes. So it's up to 17, so it's getting close to its nerve value. And can you get things like criticals as well? 
Yes. So if as long as it's uh, as long as it's um, uh, it's it's possible to hit, so it's a solid. These these all count as solid hits. So as long as it's a solid hit, but it rolled a natural ten. Yeah. That's a critical hit. Okay. Um, and then there's a critical hit to table which you might catch on fire. It might affect your speed. Uh, you you will cause more damage again. Yeah. Uh, from from that as well. Um, indirect weapons which are uh, up and over and kind of avoid a lot of the armor and things like that cause criticals on a nine or a ten. Okay. And then, so we've done, so we've done front cannon, we've done broadside. I've heard of the thing called crossing the T, so maybe we'll have a look, see what that is next. Yeah. So we've seen, you know, shooting with our forward facing cannon, a broadside, and then one of the most devastating kind of attacks is something called crossing the T. Yeah. So we'll just explain kind of what happens there and, and how that works. So crossing the T was, uh, was a devastating uh, naval tactic where, um, you get in a position where you could fire your your cannons all the way down the length of a ship. Right. So okay. it's smashed through all the decks and and just and cause all sorts of mayhem. So you can either do that from the from the front uh, or the back, but you have to have your angle right. Right. Uh, it has to be uh, um, close to a T and it has to be down the length down the length of the of the ship. So if you have a look at this uh, Aloe moving now, you know this 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 uh, this orc ship here is in a in a quite a perilous position because if I take my move step here. Yep. My uh, left or port broadside is going to catch that right down its down its length. Now the the enemy ship has to be its base has to be entirely within that broadside corridor. Yeah, can't be slightly out of it or anything like that. Um, and the projected um, length of it has to also fit um, in in the length in the width here as well. Okay. So if you were slightly like that, then you you've come out this way. So right. I've not got the right angle. Okay. Um, so it's quite tricky to get this but once you have got once it then got it's... it can be devastating yeah. so a stern rake like this from behind uh, is uh, point blank range is triple damage wow okay so if my Oloe were to were to catch you like that I've got two heavy guns so that's these two I've got one light and I've got one uh, one uh, close in gun so I'm point blank range so I'm plus two just like yep. you were before so I'm hitting on uh, fours and it's always you need sixes and then fours. Sixes, needs sixes is the standard. Yep. Uh, veteran crew you get uh, well, are better, yep. experienced crew are worse. But six is your standard number and then your modifiers from, okay. from there. Um, so I've got one that's missed, Yep. Uh, which is my biggest gun, which is unfortunate. <laughs> now I've got uh, a four and a five, so my two heavy guns have both hit. And I've also got uh, my light guns also hit. Now I've got a, a natural roll of ten there on a, on a dice that was successful. That's a critical hit. Oh dear. Um, so we'll work out the uh, the normal damage anyway. So these are my heavy guns, they're two each, that's two, four, five. Tripled yep. is 15, so that's 15 mm. damage to that ship. Plus I've got a critical as well. Okay. Uh, for the critical table you roll 2d6 um, and then have a look to see what, what any addition. So do I roll those or do you roll those? Just... Um, I, I roll those because mm. I shot you. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Uh, so, oh, nine. So if you have a look at nine, that's major structural damage. The ship takes an additional D6 plus two damage. So you take an additional four damage. Oh, so that's what we are 19. Yeah. So at the longer ranges, when you start the game, um, you'll be chipping away at the enemy ships, you know, with one, ones, twos, threes, points of damage. Once you can get close in with close board, full size, point blank, and especially if you can cross the T, you can blow chunks off of ships. Okay, so that means, so I've got a, Struct uh, structural points of 38, so I'm all right. And then my nerve is that my nerve, which that's is nerve, yep. so that's says 28. 28. So, what yes. happens if you reach that? Once you're once you between there and your obviously complete destruction, you're yep. crippled. Okay, uh, a crippled, uh, crippled ship suffers modifiers, it's going to got half its uh, half its guns in any one gun position, uh, it's also got half its uh, crew strength in boarding actions. Yeah, um, and every time it activates, if there's a big enough ship that it can see nearby. Um, it has to uh, make a, what's a, a nerve test, which is uh, based on the, the, the experience of the crew as a skill test. Uh, if it fails that, it surrenders. Oh dear, okay. So we've seen you can cross the T, you can obviously fire your broadsides, fire your front cannon as well. But it is also possible to shoot when someone's kind of sailing past you or when you're sailing past someone else, if that's right. Yes, so outside of the, the, the normal turn sequence of shooting at the in, in, end of a move step, you've got, um, there's a rule called uh, fire as she bears. Yeah. So you can either do that in your uh, own turn as you move past a, past a ship. 
to um, and there's there's modifiers, negative modifiers to attempt it because you're because you're on the move and uh, etc. You can also in, um, interrupt your opponent's turn and fire out of sequence uh, as long as your ship hasn't already activated that turn. Okay, so let's say I'm going to move my blood runner here. Yeah. So I'm just kind of happily merrily sailing along, and I've kind of ended my move step here. Yeah. Now you've ended your move step inside of my uh, front arc. Yep. So um, I let you get to do any shooting first, but actually your broadside is down here, and misses me. So then I would get to uh, to shoot you uh, with a fire as she bears. So I guess that might happen if if I was hoping to shoot you, I might have measured incorrectly or something like that, and ends up kind of overshooting the target, I guess, in some ways. So you may end up in that kind of situation then. Yeah, and it's minus two for me to, to hit you because it's such a tricky tricky manoeuvre. Yeah. Now you're well beyond three inches, so you're not point blank range. Um, and I've only got the one gun to the front, but I'll do it. Yeah. Um, and so normally I'd need a six, so minus two, I need an eight. Right. No. Missed. So missed. There we go. So what I'd do at this point, um, I'd uh, take a fired marker and I'd put that on the, um, in the gun position that had fired. Yeah. So I know that when it comes to my turn, uh, and that ship act activates, uh, it can't fire from that gun position. Right. Because you can only fire from uh, each gun position once per turn. Okay. So you've got to, I guess, weigh it up. Is it worth the risky pot shot, yeah. which then uses your cannon, or do you kind of wait and kind of think, okay, well, I'm going to kind of sail around and hopefully yeah. get you there? Yeah, I mean, if someone sails past your broadside, you yeah. might think, well, I'm going, to, I'm going to go for it now. Right, okay. Um, especially if they're very close, because, you know, you've got your... your the point blank will cancel out the, the modifier for the uh, fire she bears, sure. so then you're on sixes. Okay, cool. So that's a good tactic then if you kind of want to, I guess, get people unawares, they might kind of think, oh, it's fine, I'm going to sail past that, <laughs> they could get shot. Yes. So another thing to watch out for.